Tonight, Aid on Your Side investigates the military burns its waste in massive open air pits. Well, are fumes hurting our troops? Congress wants more research, but those affected say they're running out of time. Veterans whose health was damaged by exposure to burn pits are tired of talk from Congress and the VA. Yeah, they want action because the research Congress wants is redundant. They tell Aid on Your Side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews it's wasting time, what, that they don't have. Yeah, and sadly, this all boils down to money because if the Department of Defense and VA finally admit burn pits affect the health of our service members, Katie, bar the door. It was March 2003. An American-led coalition pushed into Iraq. Operation Iraqi Freedom unfolded. A then 24-year-old Christina Thunderthill was part of history. I had no problem going to war. My problem came in when my government lied to me and said, oh, this is harmless. Christina was exposed to smoke and fumes from burn pits in Iraq, pits into which the military dumped any and all waste, doused it with jet fuel, and burned it. My lungs are damaged because of the carcinogenics that I inhaled. One of her jobs... No face masks were given. Burning large barrels of human waste. Put the jet fuel in, and you stir it, and then you light it. You have to sit there. You have to watch it burn. Every day for 300 days. It's in your hair. It's in your arms. When you wake up, I mean, you're coughing. When she left the Army, she'd experienced coughing, fevers, nausea, dizziness. In 2016... That's when I started coughing up blood. Christina went to the VA. The doctor said, you're fat. That's why um, your PFTs are wrong. The Mayo Clinic diagnosed Christina with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, a result of exposure to toxic substances, including exposure to burn pits. Why did you go to the Mayo Clinic? Because the VA would not help me. She is not alone. At a roundtable discussion in Washington last week, Iraqi war veteran Lauren Price urged action. Congress and the VA said more research is necessary. Lauren claims it's already done. Burning trash in all forms of trash is detrimental and it can be fatal to humans. Christina told me she's scared. And now I'm sitting here wondering if I'm going to be able to watch my kids grow up. More than 141,000 veterans have signed on to the VA's burn pit registry. The VA has only approved 2,000 burn pit exposure claims. Mm. And Christina's claim? Well, Christina's claim, she says that uh, it was pushed back to April and then May, then July. Now it looks as though it's been pushed back till September. She's also filed what's called an 1151 claim, which is a claim for negligence. The VA says now it can't comment on her particular situation unless she signs some sort of a release form, which we were unable to get them, so. Hmm. That, that's a big number, though. A lot of people out there. 141,000, that is growing every day. Wow. My goodness. All right, thank you. Sure. And if you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, call our Target 8, uh, 8 on your side helpline, rather. There it is, 1-800-338-0808.